So hi again, and welcome back. Um, we'll be playing Arcane Worlds today for uh, the latest Indie Royale bundle. It's called the Meteorite bundle. It has seven games in total, five of which are on Steam. Two of them, sadly not, but maybe not that big of a problem. Um, we'll see that. It costs about three euros ninety, I believe. And uh, since the Indie Royale is always just one package deal. So we'll hop into this world and see where it takes us. Um, we'll start by talking about Arcane Worlds then since it doesn't really matter what order I explain them in. Arcane Worlds, it's a first person fly type open world game inspired by Magic Carpet, one of the iconic games from Bullfrog. Um, Peter Molyneux, you may remember of such titles as um, oof, Fable, probably Theme Park. Oh no! Yeah! In your face! In your no! In my face! So periodically, you'll get these enemies here. The main goal, I don't think there is a main goal just yet, I think it's um, just all exploration for now, because there's not a lot of things making sense. You just hop in from world to world in this simple, um, procedurally generated environment. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. You can mess around with it, you can like create these little water pools here. Yeah, I made a little, little pool to slosh around in. So there's no set goal. It's just more of an exploration thing of shaping the world how you'd like it to be. It's um, currently still in very early development. It's in alpha. So there's not a lot going on. Maybe try and build a castle somewhere. Somewhere that looks interesting. Is that... Um, it does have these things though. Yeah! These special nodes. And if you activate them all, boom, you'll get new things that you can unlock. In this case, guard tower. So let's pick this guard tower, shall we? And see what that gives us. First we'll find a nice spot for the guard tower. Maybe a, a pretty high mm, those over there. A little mountain top. Boom! Yeah! And that just forms out of nowhere. So now if we'll encounter any more enemies, any people trying to give us crap while we're exploring, these dudes should be able to help out. Maybe we can... Um, there we go. There's usually some crow things coming out of there. And yep, there we go. Those guard towers are popping off. Yeah. So that's just what you do. You go through these different worlds. Collecting new spells for now. I suppose there's going to be a lot more later on. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's going to happen a lot. I'm sorry. Um... We'll go into a new world and then we can discuss new things. So, f if I want to go to a new world, I have to um, build a castle with these it's just the cutest little guys. Follow me around with their eyes. <laughs> and uh, once I have that castle, I can take a portal. And when I'm near it, zoop, I hop into a new world. Bam! New stuff. Yeah. So, one of the other games in the um, latest Indie Royale bundle, which is called the Meteorite bundle, uh, is Not the Robots, which we've actually discussed fairly recently, I think, in the previous bundle even. No, that was the Blink bundle, so it can't be. Um, Thunderstorm. Sounds ominous. 
uh, not the robots is a 3D rendered regular Unity type stuff, so um, not top notch, but definitely quality based. Um, 3D environments where you play a little robot and you play a stealth action game that is procedurally generated. That's kind of interesting because um, that's not easy to pull off, so you will. Um, need to stay in cover, but everything, all the levels are um, made at random. The goal in there, in Not the Robots, is to eat furniture, believe it or not. Uh, do -do -do -do. Let's quickly make. There we go. Nope, we can't. Huh. How do we anger birds? I want some angry birds. Nope, we got those instead. Uh. Ouch. Ouch. Those dang dragons. Or whatever they are supposed to represent. So not the robots. It's, it's an interesting title. Blending like um, stealth action with randomly created levels. So you will be dodging enemies, other robots that have um, more aggressive features than yours. So um, you'll be eating furniture, they'll be trying to gun you down with missiles and etc. There we go. Um, what's also interesting is that the very furniture that you're using uh, that you're eating is um, also used to hide you, so... Uh. These portals are freaky. I'm just waiting for that thunderstorm thing to load up, because I want to see what it does. But anyway, not the robots, the 3D stealth action game, I think it's gonna be pretty interesting. I think a lot of people, certainly since stealth action, there's not a lot of games who do it, or at least do it well. So that stays interesting, you can't really um, ever know what you're going to have to face next, so it's not like most stealth action games, even if they are well done, um, they're fixed level, so you will at least have a basic idea of what the entry point will be at some point. <laughs> oh man. Another game in the bundle is um, Unearthed, and I'll only say this once Trail of Ibn Battuta. So, Unearthed. The subtitle does not matter. Oh, yeah. Okay, these crows are going down. Other world time. I get a choice now. Hmm. Well then. There's a lot more vegetation and things going on in this world. That's cool. So, unearthed, it's your standard ish. Grand Adventure in third person, so um, Unreal Engine based game, or at least looks like one. Holy smokes! Okay. Alright. Quell the flames! No, they're destroying my world! Ah, uh, no! Ah, uh, dang it. What the hell, dude? Whoa! It's wrecking everything! <laughs> D 
this is one sad world right off the bat. So what will you do in um, Unearthed? Like I said, your standard third-person adventure. It's set in an Arabian um, theme, so Arabian lands. You'll um, just do your standard platform elements and then um, offset with shooting galleries. You'll um, be climbing on stuff jumping over ledges, finding out um, the mysteries. It's... I, I'm saying a lot of things when I just should be saying it's Uncharted. It's called Unearthed. It's also in Arabian. The guy looks exactly like Nathan Drake. It's Uncharted, except they're um, offering it in an episodic adventure instead of um, just a blockbuster thing all at once. It also only costs four euros, so that's kind of... Oh, listen, again, what the stupid job. Wait. I don't think that's doing anything. Nope. Nope. Well, that entire world is destroyed. Unearthed, I don't know, I don't know, man. Uh, is it good? It looks not bad, because they are employing a pretty powerful engine, except you can see that the quality of animations, etc., are just... The character model for the main protagonist is way off base. He has his chest is two times the size of the rest of his body. Um, the lighting effects are pretty cool. I'll give him that, but then the shooting is very awkward. Just it's missing a lot of frames. It's missing. I mean, it could be good. I'm not saying that it's not, but I think what it really misses is something that um, in which it can distinguish itself. It really just looks like any old other adventure that you would be doing. How y'all guys doing? Y'all eating up stuff? That's good. That's cool. I'll get you some more. Oh. Or I'll get sucker punched by a crow. Yeah. Man, that stuff sure does like erupting. Um, also, maybe an interesting tidbit to know about Unearthed. If you are going to try it, it's an immediate download of 8 gigabytes. That is quite sizable to just uh, give it a spin, I suppose. Can I counter it with water? Not that much. It's pretty much just all uh, still doing its thing. Save the trees! Save the trees! Wait, can't I? Yeah, I can actually. There, we'll make the lava loop around it. No! Ah, dang it. Didn't work. It got hit by lava anyway. Well, we tried. Now we have some grotesque looking hilltops there. But yeah, if uh, you did try Unearthed the first episode, I'm not certain when the other episodes are coming out. But uh, then you should uh, give me a holler and so we can know what it's like. Some people don't like it, but I, the gameplay looks 
sensible from what I've seen so far, so... I'm pretty sure there should be an audience for it, at least. I'm just not entirely certain how awkward the controls could be. Okay, so... Another game that you'll get in the um, Indie Royale Meteorite Bundle is Bleed! A 2D side-scrolling shooter. Um, that's, it's sort of pixel art 2D shooter, sort of drawn, it's kind of in between. And um, like many side-scrolling 2D shooters, you'll do a lot of platforming and you'll basically be working with your motion to um, just... What I mean is, um, mobility is a big thing there. So you'll need to be fast and avoid the swarms of enemy. They really swoop down on you in Bleed. They kind of uh, like all mob together and then try and corner you. So you'll try and um, need to try and stay one step ahead and stay mobile, like I said. Um, to help you with that, you can slow down time so that you can like sort of weave yourself through bullets. That's kind of a unique component to the game because it's done it's done like a cutscene like the bullet time thingy where like things slow down but it has its own weight to it it's not like it's very like abrupt you can kind of like flow into it that's pretty nice um there's also going to be a lot of airborne units in bleed because like i said they like kind of all mob together and swarm you So you'll be finding in many different angles, it's not just uh, the platforming and enemies on platforms that you'll need to worry about. There's also going to be a lot of airborne stuff flying around you, as well as naturally the occasional big boss, etc. Oops, wrong button. I don't think the water ever does anything. I think the lava is just coming way too fast for that. Although... What? Huh? 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 I think I did it. Nope! It seems to be back and more pissed than ever. Holy no, no. I'm not. I think I'm just angering it now. Okay, moving on. Um, no time to explain. It's a little like Bleed. It's also a side scrolling um, action title. Although you won't um, be doing um, shooting all the time. So, also. Side-scrolling platforming elements heavily based on more uh, based on platforming than bleed. No, no time to explain. It's basically chopped up in many small levels uh, with many different gameplay elements that you'll need to try and master in a very short amount of time. That's why it's no time to explain. You're kind of dropped into it and you immediately have to know what you. Need to do or you'll die a whole bunch and you'll probably will die a whole bunch um this one is in fully drawn style so it's not um pixel art it is your flash rendered drawings although probably not done in flash that's this wait do i anger it if i throw water in there it seems calmer but is it looks calm okay yeah, it's nice. Cool. Maybe we can throw. Oh! Yep, that's definitely worse. And no, we are not stopping it. Well, that was a bad idea then. Hey, there's some more flares here I didn't get yet. 
I gotta do this in on time, because if you don't, then naturally some of the flares go off. Boom! Water source! Yeah! Ooh, sounds interesting. Hello, little guys. How y'all doing? I'm going to see if I can water source that volcano to shut the hell up. I actually can! Awesome! Look at that! Yeah! Now everything is water. That's a lot of water though. It's also done pretty weirdly. And now it's just a fight between the two. Holy smokes, what the hell is going on? I think Sauron is waking up. That is definitely not something that should be happening. <laughs> well, this world is getting pretty weird. Um, I'm not sure if I explained no time to explain um, enough, which is kind of... That would be the point. But no. So no time to explain, like I said, uh, more based on platforming rather than shooting. Because it's not always shooting. Sometimes it's just jumping, etc. With... Um, some skill that the game gives you. Uh, so mostly in that in that game, in no time to explain, what you'll be doing is trying to master your skill, your dexterity, to see if you can overcome a series of different level designs. Ooh! Ah, oh, this is much nice. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Ah, so peaceful. Hmm, I don't even feel like doing a lot here, but I probably should find where I can find a spell. Oh, trees growing and stuff. Huh, can't put a castle there. Well, I guess I'll have to form myself a castle. Is that gonna be enough? Nope. Anyway, moving on, two more games, but these ones aren't on um, the Zero. I'm gonna find another place for that castle because it's getting ridiculous. Redux. Thank you, Luz. There we go, whatever. Nice foresty environment for you guys. Um, they are on the Zero, though, the next two games, with the first one being Bad Smell. Uh, it's also a uh, 2D hand-drawn shooter thing with bullet hell elements. So bullet hell meaning that you have to evade tons and tons of projectiles at once. It's very crudely done, like just the most basic of tile sets for um, like drawings. I guess you could call them. I'm not even entirely sure if you want to call them drawings because it looks a little too crude for my um, tastes. But the action is sound. There is a lot of um, momentum going around there. You really have to evade a whole bunch of stuff. 
in that smell. There's also um, that weird radio thing. Don't really know what that's about. Oh, also, um, you can collect power-ups and stuff, so it's not just basic shooting and evading. There will also be power-ups to enhance gameplay in Bad Smell. But otherwise, pretty crappily drawn shooter, side-scrolling 2D shooter thing. On top of that, we'll make a little guard tower. Yeah. And that look nice. Not really, but I'm I'm sure people can make it look nicer. I'd give these people a water source, but I'm pretty sure they already got that covered. So let's just roam around until we find something of interest. Um, until then, one last game in the latest Indie Real bundle called the Meteorite Bundle. Uh, Chopper Mike, an arcade game made in very simple 3D models. So very smooth though, very smoothly done. Um, with that kind of shaded sheen that you get from mobile games. Um, not surprisingly, it is a mobile game. It's um, made for... Mobile devices, I think, both Android and iOS, as well as Ouya. Ouya. That's how you pronounce it. Whee! We're gonna fill up the entire land. It's gonna look nice. So, what you do in um, Chopper Mike? As you control a chopper in a 3D environment, but you will be um, on a set line, so on a 2D line, but in rotating environments. So um, a little like Tomba, if you know what that platform game is, where you're on a line. But no, it's not Tomba; it's just an arcade game where uh, you collect gems. You have different levels. Each level you can collect as much gems as you can while going from point A to point B. Man, those guys do not like being disturbed. Die, birds. There's a lot of um, neat little different elements in a level though in Chopper Mike. It's not like you'll simply be going up and down or like... There's also a few simple puzzle elements like pressing a button etc. So if you want to like collect a high score um, and go as fast as you possibly could be going, then you'll probably have to think on your feet a few times, and that's pretty well done. As a, like, simple time waste thing, arcadey title, I'm sure it'll um, go over well with some. And that's going to be all the games. Oh, smoke. In the Meteorite Bundle, so we'll go over that one more time. This Arcane Worlds simple explorative um, game in first person where you go to different worlds and um, discover what wonders there are inside of it. We Inspired by Magic Carpet. Then Not the Robots, a stealth action game with robots in 3D. Procedurally generated to so always random levels. Which is kind of nice. That is a very good um, difference with other Stealth games. Um, unearthed your grand 3D third-person adventure with 
platforming, climbing, shootouts. It's Uncharted, but they don't call it Uncharted. They call it Unearthed. So if you like Uncharted, I can't say, because it's more generic than Uncharted, of course, because they don't have the same production values. But if you do like Uncharted, there's a chance you might like this. And otherwise, if you're just into the grand adventure thing, it is still a grand adventure. Like, in big scope. Lots of action cinematic scenes going on. Um, then Bleed, a 2D side-scrolling shooter, uh, mostly based on uh, motion, so staying mobile. Trying to evade enemy swarms. You can slow down time um, to do so, to kind of give you a little advantage. Then there is no time to explain, also based on mobility and dexterity, not so much shooting though, more the platforming element of the two, where you're given um, a certain skill and you'll need to um, discover what you need to do to overcome the level with quick wit or probably die trying a lot. Bad smell to the side scroller shooter as well. Um, very crudely drawn, a lot of action from crappy drawings going over the screen in a sort of bullet hell fashion where you just evade tons of um, projectiles with power-ups in place to enhance the gameplay so to give you different weapons, etc. And then Chopper Mike, an arcadey title with a little chopper, you go through um, certain levels in a 2D line but with a 3D environment and um, Collect gems from point A to point B. Simple puzzle elements. Try and collect the most you can as quickly as possible. And I don't think we're going to discover another um, spell. Oh my, these guys sound angry. So I think we're done here. I'm just going to kill these dudes. Because I want to. Uh, ah. Oh no, I destroyed the trees. There we go. And we're done. Whew, this has been Arcane Worlds 4D in the Real Meteorite Bundle. Um, it's still up for a few days. Seven games in total. Three euros ninety. Um, or, or just around. It fluctuates a little. Whoa. So, thanks for watching, feel free to subscribe, if you're going to subscribe do so now, hit the button now so that you don't forget, uh, that way you'll stay updated because I try and give you as many bundles as I possibly can with my workload. Um, if you'd like to suggest something, please feel free, put it in the comments, etc. It's always appreciated. And when you can like the video, that would be nice too always like that. Until then, thanks very much for watching another stream and hopefully see you again some other time. Goodbye.